Well, it is a big weekend at the box office. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is back with its latest film, The Eternals, hitting theaters this weekend. Joining us now to share his thoughts on the film and a few others you might want to check out this weekend is Tom Santilli. He's a film critic, co-host, and executive producer of Movie Show Plus. Tom, always good to talk to you. Hey, Jen, how's it going? I'm, I'm fired up this morning. I know it's early, but I love, I love talking movies, especially all the big movies coming out this month. For sure, and we're going to start with Eternals. Now, no spoilers. Our producer, Taisha, saw sure. it. She loved <laughs> it. I have yet to see it. I'm going to be seeing it either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, let's talk about this movie. A lot of anticipation around it. Do you think it lived up to the hype? Well, I love to hear that she loved it. I love when people love movies. That's the whole point, right? You go and, and, be, and you're entertained. Me personally, though, this movie is getting beat up, and I'm one of those people beating up on it. Um, it's it's currently rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. It's the lowest uh, ranked uh, Marvel movie, um, and the reason is it, it's, it's an A for effort, right? It, but this is just a huge movie. There are ten main cast members in, in the Eternals like superhero team, and that's a lot of characters to get through and a lot of develop. big names too. Those are a lot of names that we know. Oh yeah, yeah. It's an all star cast. It's the most diverse. Uh, cast that you might ever see uh in any movie um but it's just it's full of everything it's almost three hours long there's a lot of new stuff you know marvel if you follow marvel there's a lot of stuff with the multiverse and all this stuff from the shows like loki and what if and now they're introducing all this cosmic stuff uh going to a marvel movie is starting to feel like more like homework than than like entertainment where you can just unplug and and let yourself go for a couple hours. So Tommy, do you think the rotten score is about it being maybe too busy? Like would that be your criticism of it? There's just too much packed in there. Yeah, it's just too ambitious. They try so much. Like you know, if this if Eternals was made into like a, a Disney Plus series where we could like you know spend some time with these characters and get through it and and understand it a little more, I think it might have worked a lot better than trying to jam it all into a three hour movie. Well, not every movie can get an A-plus rating, right? So sometimes we got to be critical, but I do want to talk about one of the yeah. superheroes unveiled in the film because it's Marvel's first deaf superhero. What did you think of her yeah. character and her super skills? Well, Lauren Ridloff is a fantastic uh, actress. You know, she's she's deaf in real life. Uh, people might have uh, seen her, though. She was on The Walking Dead. She was a main, main character on The Walking Dead, uh, and she's fabulous, but... That's one of the best things about Eternals is it, it, the representation. Uh, not only do you have Lauren Ridloff, but there are uh, Asian American, African American, uh, Indian American, Latin American yeah. uh, superheroes part of this team. Uh, old, young, male, female, uh, all across the spectrum. And it's just really, uh, I think that a lot of young kids are going to get a lot out of this movie, maybe more than they would say like an Iron Man. A absolutely. And that, that kind of stuff really matters, especially when kids absolutely. are, you know, watching those big screens. So outside of MCU, are there other some are there some other big new releases you're looking forward to coming up this month? I know Spencer was one that yes. I kind of had my eyes on. Yeah, well, Spencer is the other big movie opening this weekend. It's, it's in theaters right now. It's at the Maple Theater, I know for sure. Uh, Spencer, of course, is the movie uh, starring Kristen Stewart as Princess Diana. This is a tremendous, tremendous performance. Um, it lives up to the hype. Everybody's talking about her uh, as a front runner for the Oscar, and I would have to agree. And now there's a lot more movies to come, you know, this award season. But so far, she is uh, fantastic in this movie. It's available now. As far as some other movies coming up in the coming weeks, next week uh, we see uh, King Richard, which is a movie about uh, Serena and Venus Williams, stars Will Smith as their father, kind of tells their story. It's getting a lot of good early buzz. Uh, so that's coming up in the next week. Then you have Belfast. Belfast won kind of all of the film festivals. Uh, it's a film by Kenneth Branagh. It, it's supposed to be an Oscar front runner for Best Picture. Stars uh, Katriana uh, Belfi from uh, the show Outlander. Outlander yeah. is, yep, and Jamie Dornan. Uh, and then, of course, there's Tick, Tick, Boom is a film coming out. It's the directorial debut from Lin-Manuel Miranda, who, of course, if you love Hamilton like I do, you're excited for this film. It stars Andrew Garfield. And finally, this isn't going to chart on any awards, uh, but Ghostbusters Afterlife, the, the new Ghostbusters film, is going to land before Thanksgiving. I'm excited for that. A lot of the originals are supposedly uh, cameoing and coming back into the film. So that's one to look out for as well in the jam-packed month of November. Absolutely. A lot of things to check out if you are going to the theater. And I know I will be tonight, regardless of the bad yes. reviews. I'm still giving Eternals a shot. And I'll, and I'll tell you what I think of it, Tom, too.
Please do, and you gotta follow. You gotta watch all these movies just to keep up with the universe, right? So whether right. it's good or bad, we're all good. we're all in it now. So we might as well keep going. There you go, Tom. Before we let you go, where can people go to read your full movie reviews? Yeah, so my full review of all of those movies and more, uh, you can go to movieshowplus.com. We have celebrity interviews, uh, reviews, all kinds of stuff, and full episodes on the website, movieshowplus.com. Tom, thank you so much. Tom Santilli of Movie Show Plus, thanks for joining us as always. Always a pleasure, Jen.